Thanks for joining us. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the new Summit Racing 1955 to 1957 Chevrolet Tri-5 Frame Reinforcement Kit. This package is designed to bridge the gap from your stock chassis to a high-end aftermarket frame without breaking the bank. Best of all, we're gonna show you today how you can install this at home with basic fabrication tools. This kit is fixture welded and designed to drastically improve the rigidity of your stock chassis to complement performance suspension and modern handling characteristics. Also included are motor mounts and an adjustable cross member to provide the optimum positioning for all the popular motor and transmission combinations. Best of all, unlike most aftermarket chassis designs, this kit includes hardware and mounting positions to allow you the use of an X-pipe design exhaust with rear mounted mufflers while keeping everything tucked above the bottom of the chassis for maximum ground clearance. Now let's take a look at the installation process. So you can install this kit with the body on the chassis, but for demonstration purposes, it's easier to show it to you with the frame separate. Now we've got this set up much like you might at home, simply level on some jack stands ready for us to measure the frame make sure it's straight and square. We've provided uh, in the instruction sheet measurements for you to reference. Uh, and what you wanna do is just make sure that you're within factory tolerances. If your frame has any damage, bent, anything like that, um, you wanna take care of it now before installing the kit. And if you can't, phone around, find someone that can. But the key here is you're gonna measure twice, weld once. So we'll start with the motor mounts. Installation is pretty straightforward. You're gonna cut the heads off or grind off the heads of the rivets that sit in this position here. We've already gone ahead and done that. Um, your motor mount simply bolts in place using a supplied 3 8 hardware. And then you got two holes to drill each side. You can use the motor mount as a template. Drill these two holes, they bolt in four bolts each. Both sides install exactly the same. So the only other cutting we're gonna have to do in preparation to weld in the kit is the removal of the factory transmission mounting horns. If you choose to retain these, you can cut off the front mount on our kit. Uh, it's actually marked for you to do so. Uh, but if not, go ahead and remove these now. It's gonna give you more clearance for headers and exhaust, uh, clean, up, clean up the appearance of your frame as well. Now you're not gonna lose this body mount location because we've actually incorporated it into our kit. So you're gonna retain that rigidity as well. So you wanna go ahead now, cut the welds, remove these frame horns if you're gonna do so. So now that we've removed the factory frame horns and cleaned up the uh, points at which our kit is gonna weld to, and you can just loosely hold that in place and give yourself a rough idea, we're gonna lift up the pre-welded rail and the plates that mount to the frame, we're gonna align those with holes in the frame with either a drift, a punch, or a quarter inch bolt. And then we can go ahead and clamp that rail into place prior to welding it. The one thing we want to check is the mounting surface for the transmission cross member. If we have that set at level and we have our frame set at level across, we're going to be good to attack it into place. So now that we've got both left and right rails clamped into place, we're going to double check our alignment and our levels before we proceed with tacking. So we've got our alignment dowel in the hole, in the quarter inch hole here, uh, and our body mount location is in the correct location, it's lined up. Now we want to go ahead and check our levels. So we'll double check that our frame is still set up level side to side, we're at zero, and front to back. We can check it in a couple places, make sure that 
our average is level. You get some tolerances in the top of this frame, but we're level. Now we'll double check our transmission mounting surface. We're level across and we're level front to back. Now you can use your clamps to adjust how this bar sits, uh, but the key is make sure that the bottom of the plates is tucked up to the bottom of the frame and that we're aligned off of our alignment pole. Everything's level, we can proceed with tacking this in place. What we're gonna wanna do is just tack all the corners of all the mounting points before we proceed with welding once the cross members are in. So now we've got both side rails tacked in place. All of the mounting locations we've tacked the corners of all the mounting points. Uh, we've gone ahead and bolted the transmission cross member in place to tie it together for final welding, uh, but we're not going to weld this cross member in. Uh, and we're going to position the rear cross member. We recommend that you set it at 25 inches off of this cross member mount to the front edge. Um, now that's, you can put it aesthetically wherever you want, but you want to put it as far back as you can. Um, and then you want to make sure that side to side we are equal and we are sitting level to match. We're going to go ahead and tack this cross member in and then we can proceed with final welding. Now you want to stay within about three inches at a time of welding and you want to do equal and opposite welds. So if we do a three inch weld here, we want to do the three inch weld on the other side of the frame. Time's your friend. Take as much time as you need. Let it cool in between and just work your way around patiently. Uh, that's going to give you the best final result and keep things square. So we're going to go ahead and tack this in and do our final welds. So we're done with welding now. And that about wraps up the install of the Summit Racing Tri-5 Frame Racing Kit. This, at this point, you're ready for the body to go back on to receive your small block, big block, or LS motor of choice. In this particular setup, we're doing a 5.3 LS with a 4L80 transmission. And with the positioning that this offers, the oil pan clears the factory steering, and that big 4L80 transmission fits under the floor without cutting the tunnel open. If you've already picked up your kit, you're ready to install, get to it. If you haven't, head on over to summitracing.com and order yours today. Thanks for watching.